Hi, this is Deborah Wilret. I'm a software developer at Stanford Medicine Radiology, and I would like to show you EPAD, an extensible web-based imaging platform that we developed here at Stanford with the goal of streamlining the process of radiologist interpretation of quantitative imaging studies. EPAD was designed to accomplish two goals. The first is to help the radiologist review the many measurements of lesions on prior imaging studies and quickly record measurements for a new study. The second goal is to enable radiologists to evaluate quantitative features in images to better characterize disease. The nice thing about EPAD is that it runs on a web browser on whatever image viewing workstation or computer you want to read on, whether it be a commercial PAX, your personal computer, or a tablet. So let's look at EPAD. First, let's consider the task of making lesion measurements in images. I'm going to first show you the lesion summary tab, which shows a visual summary of the lesions that are being tracked in a patient. Suppose you're reading a follow-up study on a cancer patient who had two prior studies and three lesions were reported on the prior exams. The EPAD visual lesion summary you see here shows you all the lesions that have been previously measured on the prior studies for this patient. We can quickly see from this tabular summary that this patient has three lesions that were reported previously on two different prior studies. We can look at the actual image and its annotation for any measurement done previously simply by clicking on the measurement as seen here. So here's lesion 1 in the 6-6 six, six time point. Here's lesion 1 in the 8-6 time point. So for lesion 1, I can see all three time points side by side. So now let's look at the current lesion that we're annotating. So we can see lesion 3 in the first time point. We can see lesion 3 in the second time point. So we want to find lesion 3 in the latest study. So it's right here. It's easy to measure the third lesion. We simply draw a line We give the lesion the correct name, so we're going to call this lesion 3. We pick the template that we're using, which is resist. We need to say where the lesion is, the location. This is a follow-up. It's a target image, and we're tracking it. And then we save it. Now let's look at the lesion summary table again. We can see that we've measured lesion 3 and our tables complete for the current exam. By the way, we have defined a standard way to capture the annotations so you can share them with other researchers and clinicians. It's called AIM, Annotation and Image Markup. Other image viewers and image applications can read and write AIM annotations, and they already do. Now consider the second task of evaluating quantitative features and images to better characterize disease. Many people are creating software modules that calculate a variety of quantitative features in images like texture and shape. We built the EPAD platform so you can extend it with your own algorithms and applications. We have a web service layer which gives your developers access to the EPAD data model your applications can read and write images, annotations, users, and projects. You can create your own client or server-side code on the EPAD platform and run it as a plugin. Researchers here at Stanford are working on new image processing algorithms, so we built our platform to use them as decision support for the radiologist. The lesion summary table is an example of a client-side plugin. Let me show you how to use the Feature Vector plugin and look at the results. First, I'm going to close a couple of these series. And then I'm going to zoom in on the lesion that I just drew. Move this over, and let's zoom in a little more. 
I'm going to draw a spline around this same area because I want to run my plug-in on this region of interest. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to pick my plug-in template, my feature vector calculation. I'm going to say the areas in the liver. I'm going to call this plug-in. And I'm going to save it. Plugins can sometimes take a while to run, so EPAD tells you when it starts and it lets you know when it's done. So now it's done. I can look at the results of this plugin by either downloading the annotation, let's find it, lesion plugin. as a, the actual aim or as a spreadsheet. So I'm going to download as a, it as a spreadsheet and save the file. And then I'm going to open this spreadsheet up and we'll take a look at it. So I can see for the region of interest that I circled, the spline, I've calculated a number of feature vectors which include edge sharpness, shape, and texture. You can use this data to find other lesions from other patients with similar characteristics. If you would like more information about EPAD, please check out our website at epad.stanford.edu or contact Dr. Daniel Rubin at Stanford Medicine. Thank you. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.